Hello learners, in this tutorial I will show you how to use filter component in the Azure Data Factory platform. So for that I am using the uh, same uh, pipeline uh, which I developed earlier. So you can see uh, in the uh, lookup component I have uh, explained in my uh, previous video. So for that uh, I am going to include that filter component. So if I debug this one, so you can see uh, there will be uh, two records will be displayed as output. The status is still in progress. Once complete, you can see as output, you can get only two records, uh, ID equal to two and ID equal three. Uh, the reason is actually I have uh, entered the query where ID not equal 1. If I go to this uh, database, you can see uh, there are only three records and I uh, retrieve only where ID not equal to 1. Then it means it will return ID equal to 2 and 3. That output. Okay, now uh, I will show you how to use this uh, filter component uh, in the data factory. So you can find that filter component under iterations and conditions component and you can drag and drop this filter into the uh, pipeline area. So then you can create a link between lookup and the filter component. Then you have to go to that filter and go to the settings. Okay. So uh, under settings you have two fields. One is item, other one is the condition. So you have to fill those information. Basically in the filter component what we are doing is we can filter your uh, output which coming from the lookup component. Basically uh, in the lookup conditions we can do the filter. Same thing we can do with the filter. So we have to write the expressions in the inside the filter operations to filter your data. So uh, first of all what you have to do is you have to fix the, enter the item. So simply you have to uh, click anywhere on this uh, field and you have to click on this add dynamic content. So and it will open your expression window and you have to get the output of your lookup component. So for that you have to see this output uh, of the uh, activity output field is there. So you have to click on this lookup. Uh, one my component is lookup one so uh, we have to get the lookup one activity output so double click on that then after that we have to take the value so you have to type value this is the keyword okay so you have to put like this for the item and you have to click on the okay after that what you have to do is we have to take the items values and you have to fill the condition uh, area. So condition is basically uh, you have to fill. Uh, before that you have to click on this uh, text field and you can get the uh, add dynamic content hyperlink then it will open the uh, expression window. Okay. So after that um, you have to uh, add your filter condition. So for that actually you have to filter where uh, let's say my example is I'm going to take one email ID out of ID 1, 2 and 3 records. So I want to get only that email ID, uh, that, that uh, record which is uh, equal to that email ID. So I will put that expression here. So you have to uh, uh, put the equal operator. So under functions you can get, under logical functions you can get the equal. So basically in the it returns the returns true if two values are equal. So basically you have to click on this, then it will uh, end under expression window. Then we have to put our, our item component because earlier we have filter, uh, we have include our item details. So then we have to include like this, then we have to get email. And I will pass my values as uh, basically you can go to this one and you let's say it will return this email ID. Okay, then we need to get only ID equal to three record. I will put filter for the email column. Okay, so go to there and inside this columns I will put my email ID like this. Then you can 
quantity okay but i think you have clear with that so basically what we are doing is i will explain it again we are taking uh, if i go to that uh, item then it will take values of the uh, out values of the output values of the lookup computer uh, lookup component uh, assign to the values then what we are doing is we are equal that values items emails value to this component this email id likewise we can enter that condition. so after that what we can do, do is you can uh, publish or without publishing you can debug so anyway i will publish this one then it will take few seconds yeah publishing completed then if I click on this debug button, it will take a uh, few seconds. So here you can see initially it will execute the lookup one component. After that, it will execute filter component. So lookup one is uh, in progress. If I refresh this one. Yeah, you can see uh, initially lookup component succeeded. Then after that filter component succeeded so if i go to the output of the lookup then it will return two values one is id2 other one is id2 so same conditions we have applied for the lookup component it will return id equal to and three values after that what we did was we filter only uh, id equal to three record email id so so then that output will be input for the uh, filter so if you go to there you can see that output is there so, uh, if you go to that output of the filter one, then you will get that output where email equal to this. Okay. So, uh, I think you have clear understanding about the filter. Actually, uh, uh, using uh, uh, the parameters to that filter component, you can filter your data. So I think you have clear understanding about the filter components. So if you have any questions, you can put on the comment section. Thank you.